with Mary Meets everyone. I'm going to be doing the Empress tutorial and I apologize last week I wasn't able to do it. It was a little bit hectic for me and it has been. So I'm trying to catch up here with all the emails that I've gotten and also with the readings. So I will be doing the Empress and I'm going to be talking about this beautiful card more in depth. The deck I'll be using for this week is going to be the Halloween Tarot. Okay, we're going to be looking at that deck, which is very beautiful. It's very, it's very full of symbols. Um, even though it's Halloween, it has a lot of symbols on the card, and I thought it would be a perfect card to look at. The second um, deck I'm going to be using will is going to be the classic that I've been using a lot lately. The Tarot Los Carabillo. And I'm going to be using the last deck is the a deck that I haven't used in a while, quite a while. And it's an, a Tarot Oracle. And it's called the Oracle Tarot by Lucy Cavendish. Cavendish, I hope I pronounced that correctly. It's, a, it's, a, it's an odd deck because this deck does not have uh, the king's, like the court suit. It does not have the court suit in it. So I wanted to bring that one as well because it has a little bit of colors and something that I wanted to look at. Perfect. So let's begin. Um, let's look at first, as usual, the number. The Empress is number three. Okay. And three is a number of creation, growth, development. Um, it's a number of fertilization, of moving out and into the world. Okay. Three is a number of preparation. Okay, when number three is coming, you're reading, and you have a lot of threes, um, or it's a number that's coming a lot for you, it means that you're in the first stage of growth is achieved, and you're going to the second step. Okay, um, three is a number that is linked with um, also with um, being a preparation. Okay, also being preparation. And also the number of increase of things moving, moving uh, more, um, of multiplying. Okay, three and always is a number that multiplies very much. Three times three, etc., or three plus three. Um, the number three is also the planets for this card um, is. Oh, I'm sorry. Three is also symbols, is a very beautiful number because it has to do with um, with the uniting of the sperm with the egg, when it unites with the egg. So this is also talking about when a couple, etc., and then a third comes in when it's a child. So it also refers to Wicca in the sense of... Uh, Mother Goddess, Goddess, and the Sun. Okay, so that's a very number, ma magical number. Um, and this number, when it comes up, it's a very, very interesting um, thing. As a personal year, if a three, you're in a personal year of three, it's time for fun and enjoyment. Um, also be careful with having love affairs, and also it talks about um, promotion, having a child maybe in this year and it also talks about uh, the only negative is being overcommitted or scattered energies if you, if you if you are in the personal year three okay now um, regards to the planets uh, three is associated with Jupiter which is a very very lucky a lucky uh, planet um, it's associated with expansion and good luck uh, the signs are Sagittarius and Pisces, and uh, Jupiter is a planet of luck, fun, and also communication. Okay, also talks about higher education and travel. The negative thing about Jupiter is about being uh, going into vanity or wastefulness. If you have a lot of threes in a, in a spread, is a period of personal growth, expansion, self-promotion. A job promotion is likely, and threes are associated with career success. So things are going well in your job, definitely, if you get a lot of threes in your reading. 
Um, also talking about advancing and promotion. Also, long distance travel is possible. Uh, romance in the air and etc. If three is in reverse, uh, overwork. Um, it goes into wastefulness, scattered energies, nervous tension, emotional upset. Okay. And yeah, so basically that's what the number means. Um, going into now into the symbols. Um, I wanted to get into that a little bit. As we know, th th this card is always talking about pregnancy. Um, we see a woman pregnant, pregnant with something new that's coming in her life. So definitely the Empress is a card of something new coming in. Uh, it's something that's going to be taking a while, but it's going to come through, and it's definitely going to be a new project, new idea. It could be pregnancy again for a woman if it comes up. Um, and it's talking about prosperity and fertility. Okay. Um, the Empress... In this card, in the Halloween deck, uh, we have um, a black cat that she's holding. And the black cat that she's cradling is, a, is very protectively and maternally, which is it's like love and it's protection for the woman that comes up in this card. Um, Venus is in the tree, okay? There's a symbol of Venus there. And Venus is associated in this, in this card very much. And Venus is a planet of love, okay? And it also says that, um, again, Venus is, um, comes from the, one of the planets, and it's saying that, again, the 12 stars around her, you see she has some stars around her, her, her head, it, it talks about dominion. Okay, and protection from celestial, from the celestial beings. Okay, so that is basically what this this one is um, looking at. Now, in this one, again we have Venus, and in, in this in this traditional deck is associated here. Um, we have a bird up here as well, which birds are very are always indication of something that's coming to you from distance, okay? Something that's coming to you from a long distance, per, per, I'm sorry, perspective. And it's saying that also a problem that you might be having um, is going to be free. So if you, you're, like, the birds are very much um, free when, when they're in the sky flying, this is basically saying that there's a problem that's been um, upsetting you. It's definitely going to break up, and it's going to be removed from your life, okay? So you see the woman, she's, like, relaxed. She's very happy. She's very much in, in sync and, and very happy with her pregnancy. She's expecting this beautiful baby that she's waiting for. So it's basically saying that this card is always a card of fertility, of prosperity, of abundance, of things that are multiplying. Okay? So that's basically what um, uh, is coming up here in, in, in the card meaning. Now, the actual card uh, as a person could be a mother, a wife, a, wo a woman of importance to you, a maternal person, a helpful woman, um, an earth mother could be an earth sign too. Um, it's also saying that, and if it comes up for a man that's single, it could be the woman of his dreams. Um, the Empress is a card of fortune, of good fortune. So when this card comes up in the reading upright, so we're going to talk about the upright actual meaning. It says that your hard work now pays off with material success. Okay, and it's also saying that. This card indicates marriage and pregnancy, and even a child coming very soon. The fruit of your labors are being realized. Uh, you're able to share your feelings and give and receive love. Okay? Um, so, physical love and affection. That's a very, very good card. Good harvest. So, um, I'm going to do part two now of this reading. <laughs> 